Paul the Airsweep Guy, back to talk to you about the dust tight design of the Airsweep nozzle. Now what do we mean by dust tight? We're going to show you right now. A key design feature of the Airsweep nozzle is that it's dust tight. And that means the material can't work its way back into the nozzle, foul the solenoid valve, or get into the air lines. And that's a very common problem with pneumatic flow aid systems. They're installed in dirty, dusty environments inside silos. Material can work its way back in, foul up the solenoid valves, foul up air lines. The problem with that is it brings down the process. Now the material's not flowing, maintenance has to come, pull out the equipment, so that's a downtime issue, it's a money issue. The air sweeps alleviate that by being dust tight. The dust tight seal of the air sweep nozzle is achieved by the seating of the air sweep valve head against the front face of the valve body. Both surfaces are machined precisely to ensure a positive seat and seal. The heavy duty compression spring securely holds the valve stem in the closed, sealed position when the air sweep is not being pulsed. This is what keeps material from migrating into the unit when it's at rest. And just how impervious are these units to material getting back inside? Well, I set up an experiment to show you that. Let's take a look. So here's the plan. We're going to fill this tank up with water and completely submerge the air sweeps. We'll let them sit for a while and then we're gonna run them while they're under water. Let's see what happens. So we've actually let this sit overnight just to really test the integrity of the seals, see if the air sweeps really are sealed up in there. Um, everything looks pretty dry on the outside, so we're going to go ahead and fire up the system. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's get the water out of the bin. We'll take the air sweep off and we'll take a look at it. So I've taken the air sweep off of the solenoid valve and taken a look at it and there, there is no evidence at all of any water on the inside, back in the solenoid valve, on the inside of the air sweep. It's pretty amazing considering it um, sat under water all night, then ran through some pulses and uh, came out with uh, just clean and dry. Um, that's testament to that dust tight seal. And just a reminder, the air sweeps are really not designed to be submerged in liquids. They're really designed for dry powdered materials. And certainly damp materials, soggy materials are acceptable, but they're not designed for liquid submersion. Well, I thought that was pretty impressive. The air sweeps are able to operate fully submerged underwater and no fluid got back inside the air sweep, solenoid valve, or air line which demonstrates the dust tight design, the ability to operate in dusty, dirty environments and not allow material to come back into the system itself and cause maintenance problems. And that's not something you could say about the average pneumatic flow aid. So I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Please contact us with any questions. And until then, I'm Paul, the Airsweep Guy, saying keep it flowing.